guys, it's me again. C'est bon là? <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? I hope everyone's doing great. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know how to make an intro, so this will be my intro. <laughs> And I'm going to show you how to create your own glass morphism effect with Photoshop. So let's go. All right, so before starting anything, let me explain to you guys what is glass morphism. So glass morphism is a new trend uh, that came from UI design. And basically it's like having a screen uh, on top of a creation, on top of a visual. Imagine this screen being made of glass. So it has some kind of transparency. The opacity is not the same and the texture is not the same either. And this is definitely the most popular trend uh, from 2021. And I'm pretty sure that you have seen this before. And maybe some of you guys are wondering, how can I make this? So this is why I'm here. Uh, I'm CC, nice to meet you. And I'm going to teach you how to do it. All right, so I found these three pictures on pixels from Tanhua Tran, Tanhua Tran, and uh, Pixel Bay. I'm sorry if I misspelled your name, but thank you for the pictures. And I also created some basic shapes on Illustrator. I imported everything, so I have my circle for the glass morphism effect. I have my two shapes for the pictures. And then I have my pictures, uh, so I think maybe using this one as a background to so just add some uh, Gaussian blur effect, like some heavy Gaussian blur effect, lower the opacity. Maybe something like this, uh, put it in the back and, re and rename it background. So now I have these two pictures and I'm just going to put it in the shapes using clipping mask. So this one goes like this. Clipping mask and this one goes in the shape with the clipping mask too. So this is what I have. Looks good. Uh, and then my circle will come maybe maybe here. And this circle uh, will have the glass morphism effect. So this circle will be uh, with a glass texture. So the next step is taking everything uh, for the visual, so except the background and the circle, duplicate it, so Command G or Control G, and then merge everything, so Control E or Command E, and then right click on it and convert to smart layer. So now I have my visual, let me hide everything so you can see. So this is my visual, and then the next step is press Control or Command if you're on a Mac, and press this little icon for the circle to select uh, the shape of the circle. Just hide this and add a mask. So now uh, this glass visual layer will only appear in the circle. So you won't see any, any difference. But what if you add effects on it? Let me show you. What if I add a Gaussian blur effect on this? Now you see the effect. So now what you can do is add some filters to have the glass morphism effect. So go to filter, uh, filter gallery and look for glass in the distortion effects. Uh, usually I like to increase the distortion uh, value to have something really different. Just press OK. And now as you can see, the effect only appears in the circle. So this circle. So go to your circle layer, double click on it and add a stroke. Uh, maybe something like 6, uh, white and uh, outside, lower the opacity of it, maybe, maybe 30. 30 could be great. And then also add some drop shadow, uh, just increase the size of it, not too much, something pretty realistic, maybe increase uh, the opacity, something like that could be great, and just lower the opacity of the fill background, something near 6, 6 to 10, maybe 10, yeah 10 could be great. So as you can see right now, you already have a good glass movism effect. Uh, but it still needs improvement. Maybe lower the opacity of the background, something to 22 could be great. So have something darker. Uh, also, maybe add a drop shadow effect on the shapes, uh, something like this. Uh, just a little bit more opacity. Uh, and like maybe 46 pixels for the size. Press Alt or Option if you're on a Mac and copy the effect to apply it on the other shape. So there you go. And uh, I imported some text and some shapes to add on the, on the glass uh, layer. And if you want to have some realistic effect, you can just set this to overlay and maybe duplicate it. So 
so like yeah with this you will keep the colors and the opacity uh, of the glass effect also obviously this is just one way to do it uh, you can still change the filter gallery if you want to have some different outcomes actually it is set to glass but you can still play with this uh, maybe like something different to have different outcomes uh, maybe this could be great too so like yeah you have many many possibilities uh, for the glass morphism effect all right guys thank you for watching this video this tutorial was not as long as the others because the glass morphism effect is pretty simple and pretty easy to make so yeah i hope that you enjoyed it i hope that you learned something and see you later